An old Detroit favorite is back. This place, located near Comerica Park, is actually a favorite of our movie reviewer, Greg Russell. So he met up with Michelle Oliver to dine in the D at Brass Rail Pizza Bar in downtown Detroit. Whether you're in town for a game or looking to grab a quick slice after work, the Brass Rail is a great place to gather to enjoy some za. That's part of the reason why Greg Russell loves this place. Just the ingredients they use, it's all fresh. Everything's fresh daily. So it's really, you know, just the work that they put into it to make sure that everything is delicious. He's also been longtime friends with the owners, the Yono family. So the Yono family's been in the hospitality business since my father immigrated to the U.S. back in 1969. We opened Rub Barbecue in 2010. We had a great seven year run, which caused us to go ahead and switch the idea to more of a comfort food, America's comfort food pizza. So that's where we came up with Brass Rail. And if you're thinking to yourself, Brass Rail, that name sounds familiar. That's because it is. We always wanted to bring the name back because the building was always here. The name is a well-known name for anybody that was around in the 60s and 70s. There was actually three locations, this one at 20 West Adams. So they changed their name to Brass Rail Pizza Bar and started tossing some pizzas. They're telling me, we've got the best pizza in town, which by being from Detroit, that is saying a whole lot. So it's like, okay, show me. And they did. And I dare say I ate them all. They have other staples too, like burgers, salads, and pastas. But their specialty is their specialty pizzas, like this one called the Wakey Wakey. First, we're gonna press out our dough. So first, okay. get a little bit of flour on the table. As we just press the sides out, we always wanna keep the center a little puff. And then you're literally gonna go in a clockwise motion. It's all about the stretch when you make the pizzas. Then we pick it up and stretch it some more. Yeah. There's so many different ways so to, many stretch a, to stretch really a pizza. Is, yeah. We have people that toss it up in the air. I'm not that, like, that creative. Yep, exactly. I can toss that, but I can't. I can't do your <laughs> your method. Now we add on the sauce. All of our pizza sauces, everything that we do here, it's all made from uh, scratch. Then comes the cheese, but not too much. We do Neapolitan style pizzas, so that's thin crust, lighter on the cheese, lighter on the sauce, and we really focus on the toppings more than anything. Speaking of toppings, that is where this pizza really stands out. But we start with a fairly classic topping, bacon. We have a lot of uh, lunch people that come in for lunch, and they always ask if we have any type of breakfast style pizza. Yeah. We didn't at the time. Uh, me and the owner kind of came back here and we just kind of whipped something up. So next comes steak and breakfast style home fries. And how many should I be putting on? We do usually six. And you're going to put the fries in between all of your pieces of steak. What would breakfast be without some eggs? Without some eggs, exactly. So we got eggs that are going on this too, right? Two eggs, and you just crack the eggs right in the center. All right. All of our pizzas, we cook it on a stone oven as well. So all this is going to get cooked off. Into the oven, the pizza goes. And once it's done cooking, we brush some garlic butter onto the crust and finish it with a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. 